if you run into a lot of problems too, you start doing stuff from a group level. For example, if I do something for my family, I'm going and listen to music on Pandora, but I'm listening to Disney songs. Well, every time I'm listening to something now, it's recommending Disney songs for me, for my stuff, because I do it for my family. Um, marketing is a great example too. You go to Meyer and you swipe your credit card in the machine after you purchase and start spitting coupons out. <laughs> well, my wife shops and does one thing, I shop and buy a 12 pack of beer and I get diaper coupons. <laughs> I mean, and you just give it to your wife. I give it to your wife. Which was her mission. He did it. I buy the diapers in my family. Yeah. 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 Amazon, shop and save. <laughs> so, I, I mean, it, it's avoiding the individual piece because, you know, sometimes you do from a group standpoint. I got, I got a question for you. Do, you. do you think, though, if I do keep searching on things that I do want and I'm happy that they're filtering it, and I use Google, will they intentionally hijack it and not provide for me all the information that I want? Well, so, like, a broader question. I'll restate a broader question and answer that. Um, is there a potential for Google to be evil? Because yeah. they have they have the they have the power yeah. over what you consume. <clears throat> you search one thing, and Google can determine what it's going to give you. So let's talk politics. But, it, but is there any, else is there any evidence so that they would hijack it and not give me the top results for what I'm looking for? Oh, plenty of evidence. Hmm. Not that they would hijack it. <clears throat> so. Some of the Google engineers are even surprised by the content that comes up, that they couldn't even tell you why. Okay. <laughs> Supposedly, that's what the book says, because I read the book, yes. <laughs> but um, th I give them more credit than that. Um, but the, you and I can do the same search and get different results. Now, is there a person at Google that we can blame for that? So if we're searching um, pizza in Grand Rapids, we'll get different results. Oh, what's the big deal? But now if we're searching 9-11, we get different results. Now what if we're searching Mitt Romney, we get different results. And now if we're searching just presidential candidates, and we get drastically different results. Is Google tampering with that? Is Google adjusting that, tweaking that? No, you can't. So is Google at fault for that? You've got too many parameters that you've already put in, right? That's what you're saying. <laughs> Not even too many parameters, just that there's the, the, the mechanism is complex. You know, the, the algorithm is, is in-depth. You said 57 signals. There's well over 200 signals mm -hmm. that go into what ranks on a page. So uh, how, which signal are you indicating that's adjusting content? But isn't that based on anything I've ever clicked on? So I, 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 have, told them what I, I have told them what I want, and I've opted in. <coughs> Are you told them what you want, or you just happen to click on it? They think that's what you want, though. You brand yourself by clicking on something by mistake. <coughs> so you go to do a I search. I never click by mistake. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> but I click where I shouldn't yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. But it's on it, was <laughs> it was not a work computer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went and uh, bought a whole bunch of books for my mother in law on Amazon because she's not comfortable shopping on a computer. So now I get all these. Books Hello. directed towards her, coming towards me. Mm -hmm. and I want, how do I opt out of that? You can't. You can't. You're stuck with it. No. Yeah. So you get branded because that's what you like because you search for it once. Right. So I want to I want to talk about the good of this stuff a little bit. Oh, okay. um, there is okay. there is yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's been talking about Google and how Google is doing the stuff, and, um, I was and, and the reason we're all talking about Google is because it reuses Google. And I want to go back historically and look about why we use Google. Wait, um, who are you? I'm Andy Keller, and I am an Amazon mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Free crying, man. So, so back in the day, I think I used like Yahoo and Alta Vista and some other things. Um, Alta Vista. Yahoo has this whole thing of like curation of let's let everybody curate, and we'll build this huge index of like, you know, like tiered, yeah, the directory, which was. Um, like talk about curation, it was it was you, you never got anything new, you never got anything that was kind of independent or small. It was like massive, like telephone look. Um, and then so, so I remember when Google came around, and it was it was so new and enlightening. It was like just a search box, and not only that, but when you searched, it gave you results that were good. Because at the time, you'd search Yahoo, and the results were terrible. 
Or, and, and also, ACE was pretty decent, but then you had all these, these aggregators, you know, that would search all the other, the search engines and give you like an aggregate result of all the other search engines. The problem right now, I think, is really on us, is that we're all using Google. And we're not even looking at other search engines and comparing, is Google giving me really bad results that are curated for me using data that I shouldn't be giving them? Or they just give me the best results, and it's still the best search engine. Well, and, and, and I think you know Microsoft's dying for people to use their search engine. I get paid. So you should try another search engine and see. You know, are the top ten the same? Are they better? Are they different? Should I, if I'm searching for something, I'm really doing research. Maybe I should be trying five, five or six different search engines. The long and short of it is, you're only as good as the data you have, and Google is continuing to get better because they have all these click signals, because they know what people click through. Uh, I do SEO for a living, and my clients, if they show up on page one, if this is before super personalized search, if they didn't get clicked on, they would drop. Just strictly because people didn't click on them. They, they never visited them. So it's... Just what you're getting at is the balance with SEO, the balance between marketers trying to reach people and people trying to re reach results that are not what the marketer is trying to give them. Potentially. So there's this, I there's think this conflict. Are the right, things, but. right, of course. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> of course so there's this conflict of, of people want to push results on people, on, on those people, and you want results that are really the best. And what is the best? You know, there's page rank, there's now the social stuff that they're doing, so you can like plus one something and then mm -hmm. if, if one of your friends plus one something, then It'll it's more likely to right. appear in your results because probably better for you. Do, do, do people think that they're getting results that aren't what they were looking for? I mean, there might be differences if you were to use a different search engine or if you're going from computer to computer, but does, ever, does anyone really feel like, oh, I'm searching Google and they're absolutely giving me what I don't want? I mean, it's, again, it's, it's, I don't think it's broken. Well, the, to go back to, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. And to go back to what Andy first started to say is that hey, you guys are talking about the negatives of all this, but it's really good. Like, we use Google, 65% of the population uses Google. Why? Because it works. It gives you what you want. If you don't want it, you're gonna vote with your clicks and you're gonna go to things. But, but, but I don't think that the, it's giving you what you want is based on- It's answering what, your question. It's answering my question. It's Which not is what you want. I don't think it's serving me something, you know, like like Amazon serves you things based on whether well, you like this movie or that scene. I find that different than maybe a search that I do in Google and I get something that's answering the question that I'm asking them. The difference is that it's actually doing the same algorithm of stuff that Amazon does. Based on the fact that you vote uh, Democratic, <laughs> that you click on Democratic articles. You heard that, huh? you're going to see more democratic, democratically <laughs> slanted content in your Google results. But see, uh, the, way I use, the way I use Google, though, um, is more to answer questions. Now, it's not me, if, if I'm slanted towards the Republican Party or whatever, and I'm looking at Google News, and I'm seeing more Republican articles, I understand that. But most of the times, and I think the, the way that most people use Google is to answer a specific question. Fair enough, but the specific answers mm -hmm. are going to be honed, this is the filter, mm -hmm. are going to be honed based on what you've consumed in the past. So if you've ever clicked on plus one, if you've ever clicked on like, if you've ever clicked on a result in Google and bounced back, that's a negative vote. <coughs> if you clicked on it and stayed on that site, that's a positive vote, mm -hmm. Google's tracking that. Mm -hmm. And so they know, based on what you read, this is what he's gonna like. This is gonna answer his next question better. But I don't think I'm naive when I get that that answer, maybe as you said, when I get that answer, I'm not. When I'm getting that, that answer though, I don't think that, I hope I'm not, not so naive that I'm getting some answer that really didn't satisfy or answer my question. So if Google is honing it, and I'm not coming from a, a naive place, then I'm getting the answer I want. You know? And I mean, I understand that you can go bad and Google, Google can do evil, but um, I don't know, net neutrality? That's different though, you know? Steering, steering people to particular sites based on relationships and 